Hey friends, I recently stayed at the Ritz-Carlton Waikiki, a luxury hotel on the island of Oahu. I have a full room and property walkthrough for you, but let's do a cinematic preview first. Enjoy. The Ritz-Carlton Waikiki is consistently rated one of the top luxury hotels on the island of Oahu. The Ritz-Carlton is not located on the beach, it's offset about a block and a half. However, the restaurant, pool, and check-in are all on the 8th floor, giving amazing ocean views from not only that level, but from all of the rooms in both of the towers. There are a couple of hotels in Waikiki that have managed to tuck themselves off the busy and bustling Kalakaua Avenue and yet still provide a private, intimate atmosphere. One of them is the Royal Hawaiian Hotel and also the Ritz-Carlton Waikiki. Pulling into the valet check-in area, most of the busyness of check-in is accomplished on the ground floor with the valets quickly checking you in, whisking away your bags, and then taking you up to the eighth floor check-in. A really nice setup. When you exit the elevators on the eighth floor, you quickly realize just how ingenious this setup is with beautiful blue skies and Pacific Ocean views for days. There are two towers at the Ritz-Carlton Waikiki and for this visit I stayed in the Diamond Head Tower. As you head down you'll pass a small business center, the Ritz-Carlton Spa, and the family-friendly pool which is also right next to a Kiora restaurant. The Ritz-Carlton Waikiki is a 38-story building with 552 rooms. They come in one, two, three, and four bedroom suite or residences. During this stay, I was in a one bedroom. All of the rooms here in both towers are ocean view. One security feature that I really liked at the Ritz Carlton was in order to get to your room, you needed to physically type in the floor number and then scan in your key. So if you were to ever lose your key, during your stay without knowing your floor number, someone would not be able to get up to your room.
My room in the Diamond Head Tower was located on the 10th floor, which I think is the lowest floor in the tower. Even from here, the views of Fort DeRussi, Waikiki, and Honolulu were excellent. Upon entering your room, you see the beautiful marbled bathroom with the deep soaking tub. The window looks out past the bedroom and beyond the living room to Waikiki in the distance. In addition to the deep soaking tub, the double vanities, the separate roomed toilet was a smart toilet for those of you who enjoy the bidet and drying features. This room had a washer and dryer in the main closet area, along with the traditional Ritz-Carlton robes and slippers. comfortable king-size bed was located in the middle of the room and could be divided off with the beautiful glass louvered sliding cloak doors. This led into a small dining and living room area along with the kitchenette. This unit came with a kitchenette that was fully stocked with glasses, utensils, and all the equipment you would need to make a meal. Also had a nice refrigerator, freezer, a small dishwasher, and a cooktop. A small work desk was right next to the kitchenette that had all the power outlets and hookups you needed, along with a nice Ritz-Carlton bag and some pineapple jellies. Heading out onto the deck area, this was the view that I had from the 10th floor, looking out directly over Fort DeRussi Beach Park, the edge of Honolulu, and the Eva end of Waikiki. Beautiful views. The pool fronting the Diamond Head Tower is the family friendly pool. Quite busy. I would recommend getting down there early. The chairs are first come, first serve, and the cabanas are on reservation. This was quite popular during my visit with the slide and in-water lounge chairs. A lot of families here having a good time. Every day at approximately 2 p.m. they bring out the low tide cart with some locally flavored treats. So if you have kids or a sweet tooth, sure you're nearby. There is a second pool on property for adults only. As I work my way down through the hotel, I'll show you some clips of that area as well. Right next to the family pool is the Ritz-Carlton Spa. While I didn't get a chance to use the spa during my visit, they were kind enough to give me a little peek into the area 
nice relaxation room, couples room, and the shower facilities. They have it ideally located below the eighth deck. Almost feels like you're walking down into a cool, relaxing cave for your spa treatment. As you head back to the check-in area, the La Vie restaurant is located here, overlooking the adult pool and with views of Waikiki in the distance. One of the few French restaurants on the island of Oahu. I did get a chance to dine here with some excellent frog legs and some very unique smoking cocktails. Just towards the end of La Vie is another very exclusive sushi show restaurant. This is highly recommended. You get advanced reservations. I have heard from many that if you are looking for sushi at the quality you can get from Tokyo, this is one of, if not the only place on the island of Oahu that you can get that. A few steps below La Vie and Sushi Show Restaurant is the adult only pool. Not so busy during the day, but in the evening it was quite popular. The cabanas here were very well maintained with staff ready to assist you. Snacks and drinks in the private refrigerator for you to enjoy during the day along with a jacuzzi on both ends infinity pool that looked out onto Waikiki and the Pacific Ocean There is also a gym on property, an excellent selection of equipment. Each time that I visited, it was well stocked and clean. I enjoyed my stay at the Ritz-Carlton Waikiki a high level of service and attentive staff really made it special. If you've stayed here, love to know your experience. Please leave a comment down below. Next month, I will be staying at the Waikiki Beach Marriott located on Kalakaua Avenue. Every month, I post a video of my travels, so be sure to subscribe and follow along.